In this video, we're going to go over installing Atom, which is a very popular text editor, and we are also going to install Prettier, which is a plugin for Atom that allows us to automatically format our code whenever we save. To install Atom, go ahead, open up your web browser, and go to atom.io. And since I'm using a Mac, I get the download for Mac button. If you're using Windows, you'll probably see the download for Windows button. Go ahead and click that button and it will download a zip file. Since I already have Atom installed, I will not be doing that. Once the zip file is downloaded, go ahead and ex extract the application to whatever directory you want. Since I'm on a Mac, I put all of my applications inside of the applications directory, which is right here. And you can go ahead and double click on Atom to open it up. So let's, I already actually have it open. Let me quit it so I can show you exactly how it looks when it first starts up. It'll bounce up and down for a little bit. And you'll be taken straight to the welcome guide. I like having the welcome guide open because sometimes I forget what happens. Uh, what you're going to want to do first is I'm going to show you how to install a nice little package that I like using. It's called Prettier. So click on the install a package button from the welcome guide and click on open installer. Alternatively, you can go to the Atom preferences. You can click up here, uh, preferences, and click on the install button at the way bottom, the little plus sign. We're going to install a package called Prettier. That's P-R-E-T-T-I-E-R. -E -E Prettier. Hit enter to execute the search. And it's going to look. I'm going to get this out of the way. And what you'll want is to download prettier-atom. Now, I already have it installed, so I don't have the install button. But you'll want to click on the blue install button. And make sure it's prettier hyphen atom and not prettier ESLint or prettier standard formatter. Uh, this one's the official uh, uh, plugin. And let's click on settings. I'm going to go over the settings that I have, and you are free to disagree with these. These are purely opinionated settings. I just don't want you to be uh, weirded out when you see my code looking like a certain way. and uh, you wonder why that is. So what we're going to do is scroll down to options and there's a lot of different settings. You can ignore all these. I left them as defaults. So all the way down to prettier options. Okay, and the settings I have are simple. I have single quotes enabled, bracket spacing enabled, semicolons disabled. Uh, use tabs disabled, JSX uh, disabled as well. Uh, it's, it's okay if you don't know what all of these mean. Uh, I'll show you as we start coding. I set the print width to 60 characters. I highly recommend you keep this to 80. The reason I set it to 60 is because I'm using a larger than normal font size so that it's readable for anyone viewing this video on mobile devices. And in addition, when I combine the web browser on the left side of the screen and have the editor on the right side of the screen, uh, there really isn't that much space. So having it uh, 60 lines will make line breaks whenever the code gets way too long and it just makes things a lot easier for everyone involved. Tab width set to auto, trailing comma I set to all, and then everything else is default so Babylon and avoid. And these are all the options that I have set. You can go ahead and toy around with it, figure out what kind of code style you like, and Prettier is really important. Um, it's a fairly new library, but I have trouble understanding how a lot of people were able to uh, get a lot of things done when their code styles were totally different. So to illustrate what I mean, I'm going to create a basic JavaScript file. So I'm going to open up the terminal, and you open up a ter terminal by clicking on this plus button at the bottom. So you click on plus and open up a new terminal. Let's do that again. So click on plus to open a new terminal, uh, wait a few seconds while it initializes, and then your terminal will open. Now I set my terminal to have some very minimalistic settings. 
um, just so that there's not a lot of clutter. Uh, yours might look a little bit different, but at the end of the day, the commands are the same. If you're a Windows user, uh, I am not sure how the terminal works within Atom. So what you'll want to do to know if you have co the same commands that we do uh, uh, as Unix users, type in dir. And if it says command not found, then it, most likely you are on a, a PowerShell or some sort of Unix-based terminal, which is great. So I'm in my home directory. You can verify that by this little tilde. If you type in pwd, that stands for print working directory, you'll see that I am in my home directory, users forward slash username. Once you have now executed let's make a touch basic JavaScript file. Js, let's okay, go ahead so and open the it. command so for I'm making a file on the terminal open. is touch. You can also use command so, T O U C H touch. And, and let's just call go this home directory um, and test go find JS. Test .js. Here it is. Okay. Let's open that up. And now it's viewing my entire home directory as a project. I don't really like that, but um, let's just ignore that for right now. And what I want to illustrate is, is exactly what Prettier does. So I'm going to do everything wrong. I'm going to have bad spacing. I'm going to have semicolons. I'm going to do everything wrong. And I'll show you exactly how Prettier works. So I'm going to say const test object equals. And let's start with uh, foo is equal to bar, uh, bar is equal to baz, um, let's see, bin is equal to uh, q-u-u-x, and then biz is equal to buzz. Okay, and let's put a semicolon there for good measure. Okay, so a couple of things. There's no space here. The text is going past the 60 character line mark. When I hit save, command S, it'll take a second and then it will auto format. So let's look at what it did. It added spaces where they belonged. It added this trailing comma. It removed the semicolon and then it added a line at the end. And that's what's great about Prettier because the Once code style that they like, organization is decided you can have a single style guide in, a, in the form of Prettier configuration. And every time you hit save, it will have the exact same style uh, from the spacing to the commas to the semicolons and you never have to get into another argument with your coworker or a or a, a merge conflict in git just because somebody decided that uh, they like trailing commas someone else decided they didn't like trailing commas another person decided he likes semicolons but nobody else does and uh, one person thinks it's okay to keep quotes around his uh, his object keys um, None of that happens when you use Prettier because everything is standardized, and that's what I really like about it. In the past, before we used Prettier, uh, any organization I worked for, we had to have internal discussions about how our code styling would be, and it was really difficult because these were all just rules that we had to keep in mind. Uh, with Prettier in the box, we just have a single Prettier config, and we share that across the organization, and the, the software takes care of it for us. So that's one fewer thing to worry about when we're coding.